Welcome to Articulation Test Center Hive, an articulation and phonology test that offers three testing options. A screener, which assesses sounds that are developmentally appropriate based on age. A full test, which allows the test administrator to test all the sounds in the full test or to modify the test by selecting specific subtests. And a speech sample, which allows you to go directly to a speech scene to record a speech sample. Once you've selected a test or screener, choose the student you're testing. Begin the assessment by tapping record, then have the student say each word. If needed, you can stop the recording and play back their productions. Otherwise, the recording will continue as you proceed through the cards saving each recording with the associated stimulus word. If the student does not know a word, tap the picture for an audio prompt. Nap. What do you see? The green scoring tiles represent the sounds being tested. If the student says the sounds correctly, do nothing with the scoring tiles. If a sound is said incorrectly, tap the scoring tile once to mark an incorrect production. A second tap marks an approximation. A third tap marks an omission. And a fourth tap marks it correct again. You can also mark an omission by swiping the sound tile off the screen. If you delete something by mistake, tap the tile again and the original sound tile will reappear. To mark a substitution, phonological process, or distortion, open the error menu. To mark a substitution, drag the consonant or vowel that was said and drop it on the sound being tested. Phonological processes are auto-marked unless you turn off auto-marking in the settings. You can also mark them manually from the Processes tab, or tap on a process name for reference information. To mark a distortion, open Distortions, then drag and drop the distortion onto the associated sound tile. To add a note, tap on the pencil icon. When you reach little b, you have come to the end of the stimulus cards. Press Done to continue. You may add a speech sample by selecting a speech scene or skip the speech sample. Tap Record to record the speech sample. As you explore the scene, Tap on individual images for question prompts to keep your students talking. Tap Done to end the speech sample. Then, rate the student's intelligibility. At the completion of a test, you will be taken to the test details. On the left is your student list. For added student privacy, tap the eye icon to change the names to initials. Or you can cover the names by dragging the edge of the test details over the student names. Above the test details, you will see the student's information, which can be modified by tapping Profile. The test details start with the Words Tested tab open. The percent phonemes correct, percent consonants correct, and the percent vowels correct are displayed. All the words tested are listed with how they were scored and the phonological processes and distortions marked. You can also listen to recordings and view your notes. If you would like to make changes, tap the Edit button next to the word you would like to update and you will be taken directly back to that word in the test to make the change. Once you have made your change, tap Done to return to the test results. Errors marked are subdivided by sound errors, place and manner, substitutions, and processes and distortions. The sound errors are organized by sound position and age of acquisition. On the left is an overall percentage of errors by sound position. On the right, you can easily mark sound errors for stimulability.
The Place and Manner tab organizes the sound errors by place of articulation and manner of articulation. Vowel errors are also reported by position and quadrant. The Substitutions tab displays all the substitutions and omissions marked. The Processes and Distortions tab graphs the phonological processes marked by percent occurrence. Processes with an occurrence at or above 40% are considered active. All processes marked are listed below. The Speech Sample tab has the audio recording for review, a place to transcribe the speech sample as you listen, and a quick and easy tool for updating the intelligibility rating from good, fair, or poor to a percentage. The Report tab provides a written summary of all the test results. You can edit portions of the report by tapping Edit. Or you can show or hide portions of the report. You can also add your own conclusions. The Share button provides several ways to share the report. The Recommendations tab is a quick look at the sounds and processes recommended for practice and the sounds and processes recommended to be monitored for appropriate development. It also indicates which sounds were marked as stimulable and gives an overview of the total delayed and age-appropriate errors. Tapping Back gives you an overview of all tests given. Graphs for percent phonemes correct and for intelligibility make it easy to track student progress over time. Select specific data points for more information or to identify the corresponding test for a closer look. We know you will enjoy the ease of test administration, scoring, and the in-depth test results Articulation Test Center Hive has to offer. Happy testing!